Hi, and welcome to another edition of Lindy Style 101. In conjunction with Jazz Appreciation Month, I thought I'd share with you my swing big band music collection. So let's start with the CDs that are on my bookshelf. These are most of the swing music CDs that I have. I have some more in the glove compartment of my car, and I will show those to you later on in the video. I'm going to list off the CDs that are in this row. So the first CD is this Christmas compilation album. And I got this when I went to go swing dancing at Memories Ballroom for the very first time back in December of 2011. Mind you, most of the artists in this compilation are technically not swing artists except for the Mills Brothers. But it's a pretty good CD, and I've been playing it every Christmas ever since I got it. These four CDs is an anthology of big band jazz starting from approximately the 1920s to the 1950s. And I got a really good deal on these four CDs. As you can see, I still have the price tag, and I got this at the Antique Mall of Treasures in Old Town Orange in Orange County. And I got all four CDs, believe it or not, for 11 bucks. Now that's a really good deal. Again, this is the Smithsonian Collection of Recordings Big Band Jazz, and it comes in four volumes. These five CDs here are of local swing big band musicians. And the first one is Jumpin' Joss Band, and this is their Swing Dance Party CD. Jumpin' Joss Band normally plays at the Queen Mary on Friday nights, and sometimes they do gigs over at Rusty Frank's Rhythm Club. These two CDs are by a local big band called the Wise Guys Big Band Machine, and they're from Montebello. This is their Double Down album, and this is their All In album. Another good big band is the Lad Macintosh Swing Orchestra, and they played at the Pasadena Ballroom Dance Association, and they've also played at Rusty Frank's Rhythm Club, too. I have their other album in their car, but this is their recent one called Everything is Jumping. And the last local artist that I have on CD is Barbara Morrison. And this is her I'm Getting Long All Right album. And I got this when I went to go see her in concert at the Tustin Encore. And she sings in the style of Ella Fitzgerald, Dinah Washington, as well as other swing big band songstresses. She also has a performing arts center up in Los Angeles. And these three are other female jazz vocalists. I have the Essential Lena Horn album. This is Ella Fitzgerald's The Best of the Songbooks. I know that there are a lot of songbook CDs out there, but this is the one that I have, and this is one that I recommend to those that are just starting to listen to Ella Fitzgerald's music. I have the Best of the Andrew Sisters, and this is MCA's 20th Century Masters of the Millennium Collection CD. Um, this is a good starter for those that are new to listening to the Andrew Sisters. I also have... Sinatra's Best of the Best, and this CD I would recommend along with his other swing album, which I will show to you later on. And this CD does not have a title on it, but this is Louis Prima's Collector CDs, and it has a generous amount of tracks. And I got this at the Uptown Whittier Antique Fair, and I got this at a really good deal. And lastly, no swing music collection is complete without Benny Goodman. And this is the 4CD Essential Benny Goodman album. 
and this is the two CD Carnegie Hall concert album. Now we're inside my car. Never mind the mess that's inside my glove compartment. What I'm interested in showing you are the rest of my swing music CDs. Not all of the CDs that I have in my glove compartment are swing, big band music. I also have alternative rock and 80s music CDs. So I'm going to show you the rest of my swing music collection. And the first CD that I have is this mix CD that I made, mostly of Django Reinhardt Balboa music. And then I made, I burned a CD of Rose Murphy's album, not Cha Cha, but Chi Chi. And this is the other Lad Macintosh Swing Orchestra CD that I was talking about earlier, and this is their String of Pearls album. And lastly, I have Emily Burgle's Live at the Algon Algonquin Kidding on the Square album. And I got this one when I went to go see the Johnny Holiday program at the Cicada Club. And that is pretty much my Swing Music CD collection. So this is the last part of the video where I show you the rest of my Swing Music collection on my two MP3 players and on my iPod Touch. So let's start with the very first MP3 player that I have and that is the Maizu MP3 player. And I got this on Amazon for $125. And this was back when the older generations of the iPod were super expensive. So that was the reason why I got this player. So what I'm going to do with my other MP3 player and my iPod Touch is to list off the artists that I have. And let's see, I have Artie Shaw. There's some other non-swing musicians that I have, and most of the music that I have is J-pop, indie, alternative rock, and 80s music. I have Count Basie, Django, Duke Ellington, Glenn Miller, Johnny Boyd, Indigo Swing, Jonathan Stout, Pete Jacob, Steve Lucky, and the Rumba Bums and the Bill Elliott Swing Orchestra. So that is what I have on the Maizu. So moving on, this is the Zen MP3 player and it communicates via Bluetooth with a speaker. My mom originally bought this at H on HSN and she didn't use it for a while, so she basically gave me this MP3 player along with the speaker. So I have the Atomic Fireballs, Man with a Hex, Billy Ward and the Dominoes, Cab Calloway, the Baseballs. Um, I have Sully Cruz, Charlie Cruz, and some other salsa uh, musicians. Dinah Washington. Henry Connick Jr. Helen Forrest, Helen Humes, Helen O'Connell, the Three Helens. Lave Smith, Lionel Hampton. Mills Brothers, Pete Jacobs again, Ray Bryant, for those of you who danced the Madison, Sydney Bechet, Squirrel Nut Zippers, I love their best of album. Let's see, The Wise Guys again. And that is basically what I have on this player. And last but not least, my iPod Touch. And I got this on Amazon again. I got this for 185 bucks. And this is the fourth generation iPod Touch. 
I have Barbara Morrison's other album, which is the Live at 920 special, and that's a pretty good album. I have the Boswell Sisters, Careless Lovers, Carsey Blanton, Casey McGill. Let me show you the other Frank Sinatra album. Um, this one is the songs for Swingin' Lovers, and this is the other swing album by Frank Sinatra that I highly recommend. Um, these other artists, um, I have music that I use for studying for meditation. I have Lost Dog Found, Neo Swing, Louis Jordan, Mel Torme, Mel's Brothers. Whoops. I have some J pop in this iPod too. Slim. And I even have Nora Jones. I have the theme song to Ted, which is a good song to swing dance to. Everybody needs a friend. So that is basically all the music that I have on my iPod Touch. And that is all the swing music that I have. Um, my collection is continually growing. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe, and you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Till next time, and keep on swinging.